Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to tell you all about sharing rocks. So this is something fun. A few years ago my son brought home a sharing rock that he'd made in his um, transitional kindergarten class and I thought it was such a great idea. So we went outside, we found some rocks, we washed them up really good, and we are going to make special rocks that we can share and pass around at the end of our day to talk about. So the first step is I'm going to show you how um, the different ways. There's really no right or wrong way. So Jax has decided he wants to paint his rock and Bella wants to paint hers. Now you may or may not have um, paints or paint brushes. We, I couldn't find paint brushes at first, so we found some Q-tips that we thought we could use. Then we did find a paintbrush, um, and we had a little bit of paint left over from a paint kit. You could use paints, crayons, markers, watercolor. So these two are going to use paints for theirs. Juliana is not going to paint hers. She's just going to use stickers to decorate her special rock. And like I said, we just walked around our neighborhood and found some rocks. So go ahead, guys, get started decorating. Okay, which sticker are you going to do first? This one. Oh, perfect. Okay, and um, for Juliana, I'm going to start the sticker because she doesn't have the fine motor skills to start it by herself. Well, actually, she probably does, but, um, and then she's going to work on putting it on so this can work on her fine motor skills. Bella is painting hers. Bella, what are you painting on your rock? I'm painting a face. Oh, very nice. And Jax, tell me about how you're decorating your rock. I'm putting polka dots. Nice. So after the kids are done decorating them, what I can do is either spray them with hairspray, like aerosol hairspray, and that will kind of make them glossy and shiny and set the paint um, and the stickers. And mine. And yours. Or I could take some glue, water it down a bit, and paint like glue around it, and that'll also give it a shellac. Or you might have um, some kind of shellac type stuff at home that you could use as well, or a Mod Podge. And then that will kind of give them a shiny um, glow and keep the paint on. Now what you do with your sharing rock is, at the end of the day or at any meal time, you can take turns passing the rock around. And when each family member gets the rock, you hold it and you can tell something about yourself, like the best part of your day. You can tell what you really like about yourself or something you're proud that you did that day. You can talk about something that you like about one of the people in your family and how much um, you, know, you love them. Um, or you can just share something that you're happy or thankful for. And so by doing this, it stimulates conversation with each other, it can stimulate questions, and it also helps set a positive mindset so that you are thinking about the things that you're happy about in life rather than dwelling on things that are maybe not going so great. And it gives everyone a turn to have um, time to talk. And so this is something that we've been doing now for the past two and a half years, ever since my uh, Jax brought one home from his little uh, TK, Transitional Kindergarten class, and it's become a part of our family routine, and the kids look forward to it every night, and I thought it would be something fun that you could do at home with your children as well. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy learning about making sharing rocks, and I hope that you each get to make one and can think of the special things in your life that make you happy and thankful for. Thanks for sharing with me.